responding to a petition filed in special court in Ahmedabad. The CBI has once again stated that there isn't evidence against Amit Shah to name him as an accused in the Ishrat Jahan fake encounter case. This second clean shit to Narendra Modi's closest aide has been welcomed by the BJP. We knew this was coming. There was absolutely no evidence or prima facie reason to book Sri Amit Shah in the Ishrat Jahan case. We knew this was coming because we knew that the CBI was being continuously misused by the Congress-led UPA government only because they wanted to hit at Sri Narendra Modi. And as per some kind of a plan, the Congress government went on harassing Sri Amit Shah and you saw the way in which he was not even allowed to come into Gujarat he was prevented from coming to Gujarat all because the Congress party wanted to hit at Modi and today we would like the Congress party and the CBI to then say why all this happened all these years. It is a clear attempt by misusing CBI to hit at Mr. Modi and his uh, Minister Sri Amit Shah, we are really only glad that the truth has come out today and the other truth which also has come out was that the CBI worked under the pressure of the Congress government. On account of the fact that the state government where he was the Minister of State for Home was intimidating uh, witnesses. So, you know, at this point of time, we haven't really read the complete uh, CBI statement on the Ishra Jahan case. But the fact that Mr. Amit Shah has already uh, been charged, cheated and arrested in the case of one other fake encounter tells you that the Minister of State for Home, that he was, the position he was occupying, was definitely being abused. So, you know, one will have to wait and see uh, as to what is the final conclusive evidence given by the CBI. But at this point, for the BJP to try and celebrate that will be absolutely making a mockery of the investigation process which is still on.